Alrighty. Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back once again. Or for the very first time to the Farts and Crap show where I'm just like getting a few things. Uh, there we go, just so I can like hear better. Um, I already did the audio leveling, but for your guys' end, I did not do it for my end yet. So, the leveling for the output, not the leveling for the monitoring, is what I mean. Yep, that sounds about right, though. Um,. I can now hear everything. Okay. So, on today's stream, we're going to be continuing the Imperious Night Run. AKA Shield Only Run. Which. Mm, maybe I should add that to the actual. The actual title, I guess, maybe. But yeah, new game character is wretch, no keepsake, shields only damage and method, club must be immediately dropped. But throwing knives may be used to acquire shield bash and shield crash, because that was like nigh impossible. By just using the shield attack, basically, they're too fast, and they teleport away, so... It's too fast, too fast, too furious. <laughs> Any Ash of War affinity is okay, no consumable items. Um, except stated above. Uh, no spirit hashes, NPC summons are okay, flasks and talismans are okay, sacred seals are okay for the casting. For casting, flame grant me strength, golden vow, or howlish brewery. Well, spirit ashes are okay. Alright, cool. Yep. Haven't had to change uh, the base rule set at all yet, so... Um... Yeah, my mic preamp is still like kind of warming up, so I might have to do a little bit of adjustment here and there um, to get a nice clean bass level. Which I don't mean bass as in like bum 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 bum, you know, bass line gain essentially. Alrighty, so. Continuing from last time, using the Manor Tower Shield from Stormvale. It's been doing me good so far. Still kind of heavy on a bunch of other stuff. Might want to go get the Arsenal Charm just because, like, the Great Jar Arsenal Charm. Because equip load is definitely going to be a thing. I'm going to do my thing. Aww. I've always wondered what these like giant freaking things on the ground were. They kind of look like incense burners, sort of, or lamps, maybe. Might be lamps. I don't know. I love lamp. Uh, 
also did not grab the Great Shield Talisman, I think is what it's called. Kind of went right past it because I didn't realize that was in the other chest. Um, because there's two carriage chests at the bottom of the hill. Earth Tree Gazing Hill. One is the Troll's Golden Greatsword, which is one that I usually grab. Um, it's a good weapon. It's a good alternative um, to the regular just greatsword. Oops, that's not it. There we go. And I did get the Godfrey icon, yeah. Um, you sure you want to do that, Chief? I'm pretty sure you don't. Man, that's so cool. Stars and stripes. <laughs> I mean, it's it's a little evocative of Cap, like an old Cap, you know. Um, is that really the only two guys I aggroed in the way here? Hmm. The strange. And come on the rain. <laughs> kind of fits, actually. that modifies the guard boost stat, I'm pretty sure. Which is better on the tower shield than the others. I can't really get rid of any of these, though. I mean, I guess I could get rid of the Claw Talisman, just because, like... I'm relying more on shield crash for actual damage. Hmm. Stability of the character's defense, the higher the value, the smaller the stamina consumed when guarding attacks. Okay. So, I, I guess I don't really need that right now. Still, it could be handy later on. Later on, little bit. Um. Oh, you know, I don't think I've even talked to uh, Rani yet. No. I mean, I could do that just to get, like, I don't have to fight Estelle, but, you know, just to go down to Noxtella and get, like, a few things. Like, there's a good amount of runes down there. It would be nice to get a little bit stronger. Stronger. 
And if I'm gonna keep bleed on the um Maybe. I haven't decided on that yet. If I'm gonna keep bleed on the um shield. Um I might I might I uh, want to put some points into Arcane. Henry, heck, what's up, dude? How you doing? Yo, man. When are we gonna get on? When, 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 we, when are we gonna get on some stuff, man? What was it we were talking about playing? Was it, was it Elden Ring? Actually, probably get me. Whoa. Whoa. Actually, probably gonna be hopping on with BDD later. Um, I don't know if I'll be streaming it. Depends on how he's doing. My dude's got uh, limited mobility. Some days he's feeling up for it, some days he's not, but. Now, I'm gonna go talk to my lady. She is magic as fuck. Oh, I wonder actually how would shield crash work on these assholes? Let's find out, shall we? we did just hit a side of gray, so who cares, right? Surprisingly okay. Whoops. If I can start the attack, there we go. Whoops. Come here. Whoop. I did ask you to come here, my bad. Startup is slow. Like, once you get into guard position, like, it does work. Although, why would I willingly fight them? It doesn't matter. Although, I must say, I'm a little sad you can't actually power stance shields. Like, any old shield, like, you can do a shield attack, but, like, I want to be able to have two dual-wielding, just, like, smashing shields around, you know? Expansion is going to have new, you know, weapon categories, so... We are going to be looking at new weapon types. It's going to be pretty fucking cool.
Why do I have an even 5,000 runes? Did I go back and beat like an early boss or something or? Oh, was it the sword insignia? No. Oh, was it the guy with the family heads or whatever? The necromancer in the cave? Absolutely nutty. nuts, man. <laughs> the amount of crap that you can block, like, during that attack is just like... Wow. It's inconscionable. Prepping for my three-year-old's cake today. Oh, nice, dude. Yeah, it was all done and got caught behind some games. Oh, yeah, yeah, no worries, man. No worries. And uh, you have it on PlayStation, right? It's because it is not cross-play. It'd be cool if it was, but, you know. Ah, oh, dude, if they add that in the expansion, people would be fucking stoked. Yo, by the way, to all of you guys who've been playing Elden Ring, now you can play together across PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. It's like, what, dude? The internet would lose their fucking minds. It'd be a really good move, honestly, to get the expansion to sell, like, even better. Yeah. I doubt they'll do it. Cowards. <laughs> no, just kidding. I'm sure there's, like, some technical reason why they haven't. And put seamless co-op in there. And I could just... I could just put together, like, a wish list of, like, shit that I want. In the expansion, not even, like, content, just, like, updates. Um, you know and like 99% of it won't happen. Actually, maybe I should do that. Let's put some like reasonable guesses in there and then put some like, all right, here's some really outlandish shit, but I want it nonetheless, all right? Mm. Again, we cross paths. I believe I said my name was Rena when last we met. It pleases That's me not to see exactly true. pale and hearty, but tarnished. What business hast thou here? I have no memory of inking thee an invitation. No reason in particular thou claimest. Intriguing. Then mayhaps fate hath steered thee to this reunion. Hmm. Wilt thou enter into my service? I am the witch Rani. I stole death long ago. 
and search now for the dark path that I might one day upend the whole of it and rid the world of all that came before. Well, has that roused thy interest? I see. A choice well made. Thou art a rare sword. Not many would have accepted the offer, but I require as much of those under my command. I anticipate good work from thee. Good. Then I ask we proceed with haste. Art thou aware of the star that struck Limgrave? It left a vast crater, and through it lieth the eternal city of Nokron. Go there to find the city's hidden treasure. Ah, yes. E.G., my war counselor, and Salavis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts, can be found below. Like thee, they are in my service. Heed not their peculiarities. Feel secure in gaining from them what advantage thou canst. I am sure the others will be doing just the same. Aaron, what's up? How's it going? Sorry, enjoying early. Oh, no worries, man. Just got back from the store. Anyway, how you doing? Ah, oh, pretty good. Uh, not too bad. Kind of sore. Got a lot of shit done yesterday, and some of which was successful. Some of which felt like a giant waste of time, but, you know. It, it wasn't. I, I need to stop doing that. To some... Sometimes I'll just be working on something for like hours and then it just doesn't it doesn't really pay off but learning is its own reward so oh so you must be the one Lady Rani has explained everything you've defeated General Radan unlocking the stars a grand reward justly procured by any measure the pleasure is mine. I am E.G., the Karian royal family's dedicated blacksmith and Lady Rani's war counselor. I welcome one of your caliber. A fellow champion in service of Lady Rani. E.G. is my fucking favorite, by the way. He's so great best quest in the game yeah definitely best characters like everybody even Celibus, who's like a piece of shit he's like there's always that like traitor enemy you know uh, that's like not an enemy but um yeah let us give all that we can of ourselves together for Lady Rani I mean it yeah, it would be a little boring if, like, every single one of them was just, like, very upright. Uh, like, even Blythe. Like, he means well, but he's, like, kind of fucked over because of the shadow thing. It's outside of his control. But, eh, this conniving piece of shit. I see. You must be Rani's new hireling. Yes. Yes, I've heard all about you. I am Selavis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts. I don't know what it is the mistress sees in a provincial tarnished like you, but since we have the misfortune of serving the same lady, I ask that you kindly try not to drag us all down with you. Mm-hmm. It's kind of funny, because even if you just, like, walk away, he's still, like... I reside in another tower close by. Come and pay me a visit. Yeah. It's, like, one of the only NPCs in the game that does that. It's like, oh, you're just walking away? Well, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell you my thing anyway. <laughs> it's like... They got the perfect voice actor for that, too. It's like, you can tell from my timber 
that I am a good guy. <laughs> Definitely not a snake in the grass. It's like, mm-hmm. Yeah, I can I can totally tell, dude, yeah. Yeah, you're you're a stand up fella. <laughs> ah. Allow me to forewarn thee. I shall soon enter my slumber, and it will be some time before I wake. This doll's body is not without its hindrances. Still, I have high hopes for thee. I look forward to the good news when I arise. She's got high hopes. I shall soon enter my and it will be I have high looks. All oh, right, right, right. And uh, if you guys are wondering why she says that thing with like the I don't remember inking the inv invitation. Um. Yeah, so it, it's not like totally obscure to come here and talk to her and shit because if you start the game with like um kind of outlined this in a previous playthrough but um if you follow the other like uh members of the round table hold, um table lost no yeah, I'm round table hold, yeah. That didn't sound right to me for some reason. Uh, like, D and, uh, Roger and Fia, like, if you do their quests, um, they kind of guide you here and tell you, it's like, oh, hey, by the way, Rani the Witch, like, she's all this other stuff. You need to go, like, find out what she did with the, uh, curse mark. And so, um,. She has slightly different dialogue, and when you, she gives you that option, it's like, I don't remember inviting you here. It's just like, there's a different option if you've already... Uh, we're told to come here by Roger, I think. It's the one. But... Anyway. You can't actually open the chest in Nakron until you ask her about it, so... Uh, so I'm gonna get the Great Jar Arsenal Sherm. Great Jar Arsenal Sherm. Or whatever it's called. Tal the Talisman. Because it increases your equip load more than any other in the game. Earth tree's favor plus two comes close, but that's not until like after you burn the earth tree, so technically you can get this one right at the start of the game. Oh, if you have enough Oh, I have two. Okay. Cause it's a double it's a double stone sword key door thing. It's not a door. Imp statue is what I meant. Exactly. Uh, Elmer the Briar? Yeah, 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 I saw that. It was cool. Well, I saw the, the comment. I said that. Congrats. That's, um... It's kind of an annoying boss fight just because it's, like, in such a small room. Beat Rykard? Yeah, Rykard's not... Right card's easy. Especially if you use the uh, Serpent Hunter thing. It's one of the few boss fights where um, it's more cinematic than anything else. Kind of like the Divine Dragon in uh, Sekiro. It's like, yeah, I mean, it is a boss fight, but it's kind of just like a... I don't know. A QTE, in a sense. I really like the magic elevators in this game. These things. Really fucking cool. Siofra. Huh? 
Oh, yeah. Wait. Oh, now I can. I was like, no, you can totally call Torrent down here. Turn. Come on, turn. Grab a few things, because why not? You guys are not so good at aiming. Yep, no worries. You gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> you will be the one to ensure that <laughs> the cargo reaches its destination. So, gonna be a delivery boy? Precisely. All right, I'm a delivery boy. Best pilot ever. And no, don't be like, oh, well, the menagerie and come on. take the path on the right or left I'm just gonna take the path on the right this time no particular reason just breaking habits it's because there's less stuff over here is that why Maybe? I mean, yeah, it's, it's a little barren over here. I think the path on the left was going to be better, probably. Shame is that way. I should have wine. Giant rats. Oh yeah, there's a golden seed up here too. I, I want to grab that. I want to get that golden seed. Find when you try sometimes you get golden seed 
Yeah, yeah. Whoa, that's bad. That's not good. Fuck. Okay. Motherfucker. That's why you should just sprint from point A to point B. No dawdling. That's all right. I can go the left route this time. Shouldn't have dawdled. Such a weird word, too. Dawdling. Dawdling. Oh, there's a four. I mean, I don't think I found any fours on the other side. Oh no, an octopus. Taking that wide of a turn. I could have just gone like in between, right? Yeah, just past those trees, yeah. It would have been safer. Being safe in Siofra. Probably equip the old, the old lantern. Also, visibility. Eh. Yeah, I don't know. I think there's more stuff on the left, or on the right. There's that one golden rune four, but... Yeah, on the right there's more golden runes and smithing stones and that shit. That's not where I died. Serpentine! Serpentine! Wow, that was a hell of a shot, dude. Wait, there's a... Talisman, where... Oh, there it is. Yes. Yes. Came back. Welcome back. Say a prayer for my long life to blow up 15 balloons? Best of luck, man. You shall commission the outer gods, all of them, for your lung power. Also, this elevator is super fucking fast. Like, we are booking. Yeah, Rykard's Lava, yeah. Yep. Yeah, just uh, stay back and use the uh, Tree Serpent Hunter, whatever it's called. Things got redonkulous range. Or, I mean, you could use, like, other ranged attacks, but you pretty much have to use ranged attacks for that fight. Oops, actually, give me a second. Oops. Still staggers?
Yeah, now it's doing the thing. It's weird. Apparently not so good for taking out golems. Oh, that's the spiked palisade shield that they were talking about. Okay. Well, the guide was very, very not clear as to where to get that. His hands are a weak spot. Fuck. I'm probably dead. No? Shield is not great for dealing with golems. Hey, bro. Yeah, fuck Alexander. Why couldn't this guy help? <laughs> what is the lore of this man? Uh, this is another big shield guy. I could probably take him, though. He's my shield. He's bigger than a bridge. <laughs> oh, no. Alright. Anyway. <laughs> uh, let's do the thing. And the thing. And the other thing, and this thing. All right. Keeps cornering me, yeah. I mean, just, just spam the weapon art for the thing, you know? Oh my goodness. What the fuck? This is so good. It's it's dumb how good this is. I could probably just throw this guy off the ledge. And myself. Whoops. Scale, what's up, <laughs> Yeah, I could probably just push this guy off the ledge. Look, it's like 300 up in this bitch. Air and water. And guys, if you're unfamiliar with Gamer and Scale, you really shouldn't be. Definitely check that shit out. 
Shield Run going along. Hey, Henry, Aaron. Um, Shield Run is doing pretty good so far, actually. Like, it's not as bad as I thought it was. Like, Shield Crash is kind of fucking incredible. Um... Uh, I think that'll be fine. Seven and four, maybe? Probably. Gonna end up using a lot of FP, but... I mean, that's what it's at now, so... Yeah. There we go. But yeah, using the Manor Tower shield so far. I should have got the Spike Palisade shield. I didn't realize I could have got that immediately. Because, I mean... I think this one's more meant to be used as a shield. Oh, it lacks damage negation? Oh, I mean a little bit. And the guard boost is not as high. It's got passive bleed on it, though. Although I think if you put... Ah, oh, that thing looks cool. I think if you put Bleed Affinity on it, I don't think it's that much better. Eighty-four, yeah, it's actually not as good. I mean probably because like it's not upgraded. But I could put like cold on it and get both. Be pretty sick. Pretty badass, man. Can't do that with my current one. Uh, so I'll, I'll I'll probably do that, but I would have to like upgrade it and also respec a little bit. Yeah, the spike shield, yeah. Yeah, the guide I was using was not, like, clear about where it was. It was very confusing, and so I was just like, yeah, fuck it, whatever. And, like, according to the stats, like, yeah, the manor tower shield is better. Like, it's a little heavier, but it had more damage, it had better damage negation. I mean, neither of them are 100 physical. Which kind of sucks, but, like, doesn't really matter that much, honestly. Like, the guard boost seems to be more of a factor, but this one has, like, a lower requirement, too. But I could have got this, like, immediately, which... Because, yeah, the only thing you need is two stone sword keys. So, yeah, I could have came here at the start of the game and grabbed that. Although, you know, Jellyfish Shield, I, I still think was probably the right way to go just because it's somber and you can easily get, like, up to somber four, like, pretty quick in the game. And that did make, like, more of a difference. I really wish I didn't have to take these guys out. It's just kind of time-consuming. Pretty sure, at least pretty sure, this guy can still shoot you, like, during your fights, so. Is that what I think it is? Yeah. If 
Fuck, that was another one. Damn it, come on. Shit. Ah, damn it. I know he's close to dropping. bullshit for sure are you using the uh what is it called the tree hunter great spear or whatever the serp serpent hunter great spear serpent hunter tree spear i don't know the guy gives it to you like right before the fight Definitely uh, use that with like Warrior Jar Shard or Shard of Alexander, Golden Vow, Flame Grammy Strength. Two hand that baby and just spam it until he's dead. Oh shit, whoops. He's got super armor for that too. Motherfucker. I mean, I wasn't at full health, but still, I didn't expect him to take off like most of my health. Jeez. That was just a regular swing, too. Like, if it was his Ash of War, like, sure. I mean, it wasn't at full health, but yeah. Like, it was a lot more than what I was expecting. Draw that arrow. Did that not hit? There we go. That one's like a lot easier because his ankles are the weak weak point, but
What the? Oh, if you're gonna just draw an arrow? Yeah, sure, dude. Go ahead. Hey, where's your other hand? Ah, oh, it's son of a bitch. Inspired by this storm. Oh, yeah, yeah, the storm ruler from Demon Souls, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I actually didn't play Demon Souls until, like, the remake, so. When you get the storm ruler in Dark Souls 3, I didn't know that was a reference to Demon Souls. Which is pre pretty cool, though. Now that. Now that I've played both of them, I kind of have more of an appreciation for it, but. Um, uh, no, using Spear Dash. Check. Yeah, the Spear Dash has, like, super long range. You can, you can stay out of the lava with the Serpent Hunter thing. Like, that's kind of the point of that weapon. Plus, it can stagger him, like, super easy. A Spear Dash? Oh, oh, you mean... Okay, you're not talking about the Ash of War, right? I was talking about the Ash of War. No, the summon. Like, you can summon, like, Mimic Tear. Like, I would do Mimic Tear with the, um... If you're having trouble with it, with the Serpent Hunter. So just make sure... Just make sure Serpent Hunter is your only weapon. Then use the Mimic Tear, uh... Spirit Ash. And then that way you get like two of them. I mean that that should make the yeah, even if you don't use Mimic Tear, that that weapon really makes it a walk in the park. But like there's that's what I meant earlier by like a cinematic boss, like it's not challenging like the other bosses are challenging because there's like that weapon is basically a cheat code like like if i tried fighting him right now in this challenge run i would have a bad time i would have a really bad time because i have to get right up next to my enemies <laughs> like and yeah, if you're trying to do that with Rykard, it's, yeah, it's very difficult. A great shield soldier, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Black Black Flame Monk Amon is really good, too. Uh, actually, I think I used Stormhawk Dean my first time around. Because um, he never touches the ground. And he's surprisingly good. Like... I'm pretty damn sure we got you. Yeah, we got you Mimic Tier when I was guiding you through the game. He was in that chest in Nokron. In that room with the one guy. Yeah. I mean, it'll be a lot better if you level it up with uh, Rodrika. <clears throat> And I did recommend getting Black Knife Tish. I don't know if you did that yet or not, but Black Knife Tish is also like kind of the best one. I we talked about this a little bit, but it's in the Ever Jail or Ever Gale um, northwestern corner of the uh, Moonlight Altar. Pretty sure is that one. Almost positive.
Yoggut. Oh, it can help tank you damage, let the enemy focus on them, bring you to attack. Yeah, Mimic Tier plus 10 has way more HP than you actually have. So it can it can tank things that ordinarily you can't survive. But uh, Stormhawk Dean, the one you get from... Um, so I think he's one of the legendary Spear Dashes, but from the four Belfries... Um, I think it's like the middle one, the eastern one, that takes you back to the Chapel of Anticipation. So the island where you start the game, west of Stormvale, right here, where you can refight the, uh, what is he called? Um, the Grafted Scion, if you didn't kill him your first time around. So if you go back up into the little, like, starting room, which I guess is this room, um, because that's the bridge, yeah. So above, there's some rafters in the room where you spawn at the beginning of the game. So up on the north side of the room, there's one where, like, you go up the stairs and then you go in there and there's a treasure chest and that's how you get Stormhawk Dean. But... He's really good. He can, um, he does it like he just does like packs and stuff, but he's surprisingly does a good amount of poise damage to where like, actually I used him for Melania a couple times as well, because he can stagger Melania. Um, he's also one of the most mobile ones just because of his regular like flight patterns. And in the same way that a lot of us died to Stormhawks and Stormvale, like, he, he's really good for that exact reason. <laughs> but yeah, guys, if you're unfamiliar with yogurt, I mean, I mean, I think all of you are, but, you know, in case you're not, or haven't checked out his channel yet, there you go. Um, also, it's possible there are people that are not participating in chat, which is totally fine. Lurkers are always welcome. Uh, catch up with chat here. It got away from me a little bit. Uh, Stormhawk, I use him frequently. Howdy, howdy, what's up? Yo, JMD, going to your first play, Aaron? Um, pretty much, yeah. He was having trouble with the game, so I basically guided him through the game the other day. Um, just the basic path of like, alright. Renala and Godric, or you could do Rykard, or not Rykard, Radon instead. Um, and, you know, up to Altus Plateau, off to the east side, the Tree Sentinel into Landell, off to the east, Mountaintops, you know, Fair Mazula, back to Landell, beat the game. But, um, we basically did a slow speed run, essentially, with like a few other stops here and there for important stuff. Um,. So, post-game, new game cycle, I think. <clears throat> but. Uh, I haven't used the hockey yet. Maybe we'll try it out when I record again this week. Yeah, dodges attack where he goes underground. I mean, it just has a specific timing like all other attacks do. Just keep trying. Keep experimenting. Uh, with the yogurt, thanks to you. oh yeah, of course, man. Uh, how's how's recovery going? How's your uh, how's, shoulder, how's your shoulder and everything? Um, yeah, not too shabby. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, snowy area. Primary focus is fire giant. Uh, yes. So if you're doing just like speed run, basically. Like, only doing the required stuff in the game. Yeah, Fire Giant's the only thing you have to fight in the mountaintops, you know? Uh... You wanna field that one, Yogurt? Or if not... I could give people the short version. Your 
Anyway. Anyhow. Um, yeah, so while I could shove this guy off a cliff, I think it's probably a bad idea, honestly. I'm just going to try to fight him normally. Also, he's wearing the Banished Knight set, I think. Except he has a cape that's not part of the Banished Knight armor. They broke my shoulder blade from top to bottom, rotated it to where it should be, wing bone in there, reinforced it with titanium and stuff. Yeah. Complicated surgery, and he's on the mend now. So. So, yeah. Everybody, best wishes for you here, and seriously, go check out his channel. <laughs> like, awesome dude. I miss him oh so dearly. Um, but yeah, thanks for stopping in, man. Um, I think I'll have enough time, right? To buff, yeah. I wasted time last time by doing the wrong thing. Oh wait, what? Why? Fuck. Oh, okay, so it still takes away the extra stamina. Blood loss will stagger him. Shit. Oh. Oh. Damn, he does a lot of stamina depletion. So I need to have, like, full if I need to eat a hit from him. Gotcha, bitch. Nah, you got, you got right guard. He's, he's easy, man. Did you upgrade the Serpent Hunter? Dude, that is... That's ridiculous, man. That's absolutely ridiculous. Alright. This is gonna wear off, so... Of FP. Damn. Okay. I can't do my secret move. Not that that's a huge problem. Ah, fuck yeah, it is. Alright. Haha. -ha. Oops. Nope. Okay. That's a problem. Fuck. Ah. Uh. Uh. What's Redonk? Oh, um... 
how effective shield crash is against humanoid enemies. It's just... It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah. No, I ran out of FP. That was the main problem. Uh, yeah, we'll just do six and five. That'll be fine. Also, I thought I could do Golden Vow and Flame Grant Me Strength in one. Yeah, what the hell? I should be able to. It doesn't leave much left over, but... Hmm. Maybe I wasn't quite at full? Hmm. Anyway, I really want the uh, Arsenal and Charm, which is why I'm doing this. It's totally optional, but it's a really good talisman. But yeah, just uh, just upgrade the weapon and use the mimic tier. Ah, my goodness. Stupid hitboxes, man. Are you kidding me? Just hate this. Hate this guy so much. Could use Shard Spiral for Rykard, but I don't probably don't have that yet, so I mean yeah, the Serpent Hunter is definitely the best thing for that. Oh, his hand's on the other side. Oh my goodness, dude. You're too big for this terrain. Stop. The camera is just like incredibly stupid sometimes. I'm not moving the camera, like I'm just <laughs> There's a little booty. I wonder if it'd be more effective to hit him in the chest. Like, I can't critical with a shield, but... There we go, finally. Because I'm pretty sure that second guy will keep shooting you during the fights. Which, now that I have... I mean, I don't think the second two are as big of a problem. Like, the first guy can really take my stamina down real quick. Oh! Right. Um...
Nah, I mean, it worked out okay last time. I could use the Great Shield Talisman for... It would actually help here, but... Alright. Let's do that first. Oh. beforehand so I don't have to during Yeah. I mean, if you just keep pushing them back, it's not a problem. actually had a uh, good idea there. Trying to attack me was not one of them. If he stuck to dodging, now he might have something. It's a giant skull. Impressive Star Fox. Thank you. All right. Neat. Okay, so. Oh, I may as well go get the thing for Rennie, right? Yeah. I should go get the thing for Rennie. Uh, Knight's Sacred Ground is there. A stupid big ass sword, yeah. Yeah, just practice. You'll get him. Believe me, as much as I've beaten like these bosses in Elden Ring, I've also died to them hundreds of times. Like failure makes the success taste Oh, so sweet. I still don't have better pants. Hmm. Maybe I should go fuck up a uh, Rykard. Not Rykard. Um. Uh, Bernal? Bernal. No, because I want his help later. That would lower my FP. Maybe 
78 is enough. And 47, which would be seventy five. Yeah, seventy five. So just barely, that's enough. Yeah. All right. Um, for most situations, I'm not going to need that much FP, though. So, like seven and four? <laughs> Soda sugar? On. on what? Sugar does. Sorry, I think I missed that, my bad. Once you get him to 75% health, he does all his bullshit. Um, does he? I thought it was... Hmm. Maybe it was. Hmm. All the deaths. Oh, make victory all the sweeter. Yeah, I mean, so does sugar. Yeah, right, yeah, true. Uh, finally succeeding where you've failed countless times. Um, it's a... It's a great feeling. It's a really great feeling. Um, I should probably get more HP. I mean, especially for the bosses coming up, like, I don't want to get one shot by things. Alright, I'm going to take this to Rani, uh, so she can do her thing. And actually, you know what? I talked about getting the arsenal charm, not the arsenal charm, the other talisman, the magic scorpion charm. That's the one. Um, so I'm going to run and get some starlight bullshit for Celibus so I can get that from him before he gets killed by Rani, who's obviously sick of his shit. And it's pretty obvious it's Rani, too, just because, like, if you actually go through with Celevis's plan, um, like, yeah, Rani kills you instantly, but she also kills Celevis. And it's, like, the same, like, death position and everything else. It's, it's heavily implied, so... Although, I will say, most things in FromSoft games are open for interpretation, so whatever your headcanon is, is totally fine. Um, I need some regular... Uh, regular Starlight as well. Um... I wanna know. I don't think I picked up any yet. I was trying to remember if there was like another one that I already grabbed, but I don't think so. Because I think you only need two. Yeah. 
No, he's got some really cool attacks. Hands down. Like, it's it's a cinematic fight for sure. I mean, on the upside, you don't have to kill Rikard. There's literally no reason to. Unless you want that bullshit... Uh, skull fire attack thing. It's, it's not very good, but it is a thing that you can use. Kind of. I mean, a much shittier version of it, but yeah. I'm getting any more coffee. Fuck. Also, I heard, um... Fallout 4 is getting a PS5 upgrade? Which, um... I don't know if that's real or not. It's like the rumor that I heard. But, uh, I've never played that one. Actually, well, I mean, I've played it once, but I've never, like, beat it. I just kind of booted it up for a little bit. Um, but yeah, I've never played through a Fallout game all the way. Like, I've seen playthroughs and stuff, but... I don't know. If you guys want to see that, you know, I might do that. Wait, I'm not here for the scroll. I'm here for the starlight. Fuck. What am I doing? Starlight. That's not how that song goes. Um. These fucking guys. Look at all these guides with with their pretty ass shields. These motherfuckers who would not drop their shields for me. Bet you thought you could just like hang back and use your shields and be total fucking assholes. Not dropping me shields. Of fucking course. I killed like 30 of those guys. <laughs> like maybe more, like at the beginning of this run. I was like, man, I would really like to get a brass shield. That'd be nice. First group of enemies. Just like, hmm. Just for shits and giggles, now that I don't want it. Come on. We're good? We're good? We're good. Also, why does it look like that? Is it just lighting? It kind of looks like when you have HDR on and then it's not actually doing HDR, so it it's trying to display as like SDR, but then it's like all desaturated and kind of cloudy. Hold on, I gotta check something.
Yeah, I think it's just like the current lighting and stuff because I checked all the usual stuff and it's now the HDR stuff is on. So yeah, we're good. Uh, just still here, just uh, went AFK. Oh, no worries, no worries. Um, stream come back in like five minutes. Okay, sounds good, Aaron. Yeah, it's just it's just the current lighting, is what it is. Um, okay, show. That was two, which I already yeah. Okay. And I think... Yeah, okay. Yeah, speaking of which... Um, the coffee's gone. Okay, so... Gotta get more here in a minute. It's just one of those days! You wanna drink coffee? Like every day. <laughs> Definitely one of those days, though. I need it more than usual. Cause I need it more than life. Need it more than never. Also, starting to get a little warm in here, so gonna crack a window here in a sec. But now I have all the shit for Celibus. Well, well, did you and he's a creeper, so I'm just gonna skip all his dialogue. Mm-hmm. Yep, cool. Definitely not gonna just take it to Gideon and have him throw it away. Definitely not. No, def definitely, definitely not. Wait, did I talk to Gideon? Yeah. Right, because I had to to talk to Nefeli to get her. Yeah, get the arsenal charm. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, mm -hmm. You'll be up then, as you're the inhabitants yeah. weave mm -hmm. the rounds. Godric the general, mm -hmm. the greater right Morgoth, and Renala. Queen, you'll still be up. Mm hmm Is that possibility so? Oh, the round table. But oh. Good. Mm -hmm. You go and see. Just tell him despite not his inevitable. Mm-hmm. Alright, can do. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back and also. Go to Celevis's, uh, uh, BDSM doll dungeon. It's private, um, it's private waxing chambers. Why? Dude's a fucking creeper. Like seriously, like every every female he sees, dude. He's like, oh, Nefeli, she's cute. Try to turn her into a, uh, you know, into a real doll, I guess, right? Like, ooh, Selen, she's cute. Especially with that Burger King crown. 
guess I'll make a f yeah, you know. Wait, ooh, Lady Ranny. Ooh. Hmm, she's already a doll. That's hot. Ah, so you made well done, very well. Nolly mm -hmm. tried out if you mm -hmm. would. You wished well. Mm hmm About your chambers. You no fish yeah. fine and you trick my mm -hmm. that you yeah. well, but mm -hmm. now. Yeah. I will take the jar right, thank you. Mm hmm So it's a nearly speak. Mm-hmm. Begging for an uh the limit. Alright. Well, quitting out last time didn't quite do it, so I'm gonna do the other method of fast traveling away and coming back. Can't beat the feel of plastic, right? It up it is plastic. He's just a coin operated boy, man. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Total refill. <laughs> Total refill of the coffee, yeah. With just one sip, I was falling in love. But now I'm simply falling apart. Begging for another lesson so soon. Ugh, there remains much to be done. Make it quick. <laughs> Whenever there's any food <laughs> in the Burger King sex dungeon. <laughs> Home of the big messy whopper <laughs> extra secret sauce <laughs> are the buns toasted you bet your ass does the beef sizzle oh yeah <laughs> do we slap on the sauce oh we lather it Celibus is Burger King Sex Dungeon. <laughs> Try one today. <laughs> Alright. Uh, hand over... Dude, why? You're supposed to have, like... Piece of shit. Alright, let's also try this. <laughs> we can't have it your way, right? <laughs> It's absolutely awful. <laughs> pickle slices? Nah, we slap a whole pickle in there. <laughs> we just violate the patty. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> Alright. The <laughs> Yeah, I got some starlight shards for you, dude. Mm-hmm. Thank you. You're proving I've not. Mm-hmm. How's the thing of it? Perhaps you'd be interested in a little scheme of mine. Alright, this the, I'm just gonna let him do this part. Of puppets, which I aspire to cherish with these very hands. A ploy to fool even Lady Rani. How does that sound? I don't know, dude. Like a really bad idea. I knew I had you pegged. You're just like me. Then I'd like you to procure something. A rather unique starlight shard that glistens with amber. With that, my special draft will gleam with nectar sweetness. And even a demigod would be slave to its charms. Well, well. You managed to lay your hands on it. The blessed day is finally upon us. Goodness gracious, the way it glistens. Utterly enchanting. 
To think this was once a demigod's very fate. My, oh my, oh my. Ah. Are you still here? Ah, oh, yes, I, I should give you your reward. Yeah, please. It's all yours. It's splendid work. It's just marvelous. Now, just you wait. The merriment is soon to begin. The scheme I promised is to be revealed very shortly. Yeah. Good luck with that, man. Have fun. Fucking creeper, man. The... The arrogance of this guy. Like... He really thinks he can just pull one over on Ranny. Like, dude, what... What gave, what gave him that idea? Like... I mean, I know what gave him the idea. Like, I guess you can be, like, so far up your own ass you think you're just, like, smarter than everybody else. But seriously, you think she doesn't know? And, like, if we go by the implication that, like, Renala's second phase is actually a puppet that, like, Rani made of her mom to, like, protect some shit, you know? To actually keep her safe and stuff, because she cares about Renala, you know, in a very real sense. Like, she knows about the whole puppetry thing. Like, come on. She knows about fucking Pidia here. Like, they have other puppets, like, all over the manor protecting the place. And duh, she knows, like, Celibus is a bit of a pervert. Like... It's just that level of being up your own ass I don't understand. Anyway. That's it, though. I just wanted to get the Magic Scorpion Charm before I give the Finger Slayer Blade to Rennie, because, like, she... she's going to kill him before she goes. Which she does regardless, like, as soon as she leaves, you can go to Celibus' rise and he's dead, like. Like, she clearly knows about it. Ah, it was thee, not blithe it seemeth. Even in my slumber I sensed it. Mm -hmm. It is in thy possession, is it not? The hidden treasure of Nokron. My thanks. Finally, all the pieces are in place. Soon must I begin my journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. Ah, but before I leave, I shall entrust thee with this. My thanks for thy sterling efforts. A strange gift, perhaps. But a rare sort such as thee would welcome it, I'm sure. I am certain now. Fate steered us to our reunion. I must thank Torrent, too, for his part. You may leave now. It was but brief. But thou gavest me fine service. What is it? You may go. I, too, am to depart on a journey. Upon the dark path. Only I may tread. Yeah, that's the other big thing, too. About, like, Rani and Melina, like, they're the only two people that actually acknowledge and thank Torrent. Like, 
nobody else in the game even acknowledges Torrent. And again, I don't have to do this, I just want to go to Noxtella to get, like, a few more larval tiers, because I'm probably going to hit a point where I'm going to want to respec. Um, and there's some good runes down there, so. Also help for leveling up. possible Rena was just her teacher and not a shortened version of like Renala's name but I mean it could be both it could have been like at one point like Renala just disguised herself because she thought like she would listen to some random witch more than her mother you know But yeah, we really don't know a lot about, like, Rennie's mentor. The game doesn't really say much about her, aside from, like, her, um... The Snow Witch set is kind of the only piece that says, like, Witch's robe in the color of snow, once worn by a snor snowy crone that the young Rennie encountered deep in the woods. She was a witch, well-versed in cold sorceries. It is said that the doll houses Rennie's soul was modeled after her. The old witch was Rennie's secret mentor. Pretty much the only thing the game says about it. Oh yeah, that's right. That was the thing I was going to test. Not today, but... Because a little while ago, if you guys caught that stream... Um, I did find out that this uh, coffin here that looks rather inconspicuous, um, you can ride this one from Deep Root Depths, which is up there. So I was like, hmm, well, what if you did that before talking to Rani the first time? Like, would there still be a miniature Rani here? Would you be able to talk to her via the item or will the item just not be here if you haven't progressed her quest which I think most likely it's the last thing but I don't know. it would be interesting it'd also be a very roundabout way of doing things but don't immediate they don't usually immediately go for the spray attack thing but i thought it was going to start off with like scurrying towards me and you know doing some of the bite attacks or whatever but no apparently not hubris yeah the hubris 
Uh, nor do I, I just know it's a thing. Yeah, the being up your ass thing, thing yeah. Uh, did you read about the dungeon in Limgrave? It was only discovered recently. Really? You serious? There you go, that's what I thought you were going to do the first time, my dude. Oh, that's a problem. Okay, there we go. Uh, it's my favorite thing to do in Elden Ring. Find them dungeons, beat the many bosses, rewards were kind of meh for my build. Yeah. Yeah. That was kind of um a goal of mine for a while though, just to like go everywhere, you know. But if I missed one in Limgrave then that's news to me. Whoops. Shit. Fuck. Come on. Oh fuck, I aggroed the other one too. Come here, come on. Come here, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. There we go. Oh shit. <laughs> right. Um, Elden Ring for Souls game. But no, is that real? Like the dungeon, new dungeon in Limgrave that. Not sure if it's true though. Okay, I gotcha. Uh, where did you read about it? Oh fuck, that's bad. Ah, damn it. Thank you. the OG Demon Souls on the PS5 remake. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. 
motherfucker. You know, it might be better if I deal with him first. Well. It's alright. It's just like 5,000 souls I lost there. Not that many. I don't think I'm gonna fight him this time. I'm just gonna like run through and grab that one other item I didn't get. I'm 25% nice. So I played Remnant 2, which was fire, Liza P, which was tight also. Which gotcha. Yeah, I've heard good stuff about Liza P. Haven't played it yet because I don't have Game Pass and I don't want to pay full price for it, but. Looks pretty good. There's also a uh, Steel Rising, which is not as good, but um, as far as I could tell. But I still wanted to give it a shot, you know. That goes through the guard. Oh. Oh, if it hits, right? Fuck. Oh, they do that too. So there's my soul. Runes, not souls. Yeah, Golden Rune 10. I figured that would be something good. Ooh, that is weird. The actual, like, frame drop there. Like, not in the stream, like, the actual game, like, hiccuped a little bit. And yeah, I could talk to Rani, but I, it's, I'm not doing her whole quest, so... Damn. They can really back up. Pretty sure that was all of them, but it wasn't 100% on that. Fan daggers, okay. Don't care about that in there. Um, neat. With right card, Aaron? It's not going to be easier with other people. Do you not 
have the upgrades for like the tree, the serpent hunter. I could just drop you a plus 10 serpent hunter if that's the problem. You don't you don't have the upgrades for it. <clears throat> Didn't you get the somber uh, smithing stone bell bearings or no? That's not bad. That is really not bad. Fuck. Okay. Uh All right. All right. Yeah, I could I could do that real quick. Because I don't need, I'm pretty sure I have an extra one. Even if I don't, like I can get another one. Doesn't matter. Or if you want to drop it for me later after you're done with it, that would be nice. Actually, no. Let me see if I have an extra one. I think I have an extra plus ten one. I think audience pathway is right before the fight, if I remember right. Yeah, I need to clean up my inventory a little bit anyway. Serpent Hunter. Oh, do they not give you one if you already have it? I think so. Alright. Uh, and you have a Mimic tier, right? Like, I might have an extra mimic tier, but I I think it's the same rules, like you don't have I don't think you can drop spirit ashes for people anyway. But So this, yeah, this is the spot. Okay. So I'll meet you by audience pathway, side of grace. Um, should be the last one before the fight. So. Hmm. 
Wait, what? Why did it not start in online mode? And I got some early flowers too if you need them. Drop you the Serpent Hunter. I also can't drop Smithing Stones. Apparently. I can drop you the Erdly Flowers. There you go. Have fun with that. Why? An idiot. Did he pick up the early flowers? Since I'm here, I guess I'll, I'll help you out with the fight. Hold on. Just gotta change my setup. If anything else would boost it. All right, that should work. Go ahead. go.
Yep. No problem. Yeah, I didn't know you couldn't drop the Serpent Hunter for people. I just need, like, if you already had one, then it... The, the guy who gives you one doesn't have one for you on subsequent playthroughs. But I guess it's treated more like a key item? It's kind of different. Alright. Yeah, definitely get the uh, bell bearings for the somber smithing stones. Before starting a new playthrough, that would be very, very good. Uh, no. No. Also, actually, wait, I don't know if invaders can pick up dropped items. Anyway, I hope you got those early flowers too. But um, I'm gonna go grab more coffee. Uh, there should be some ready, but I may have to make more. So I'll be back in a little bit and then continue this shield run.
やーはーいやーはーいやーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはーはい。It does require somber smithing stones, though. And it's been two and a half hours, and I only took a half earlier, so I'm taking another aspirin because. Yeah, my knees and back are just not great today. The seppuku, yeah. What do you mean you just just found out? I t I told you about seppuku, and you can put it on twin blades. Seppuku seppuku bleed affinity dual god skin with dex and arcane is super good. Especially also with like the、uh, Rotted Wing Sword Insignia and、uh, Millicent's Prosthesis and Lord of Blood's Exaltation. Oh, well, yeah, for Black Flame Tornado, yeah. Which is better in certain situations, and then you don't need two of them. Because you can only get one per playthrough. Now, for certain. For Black Flame stuff or Destined Death stuff, like, yeah, Black Flame Tornado is still kind of the best one. For, uh. Using Black Flame to melt HP in that sense. Because it's better than the Black Blade spell from Malekith or his sword. For certain situations, if you use Black Flame, in, like、uh, the incantation,、um, the. What do you call it? Enchantment, I guess? It can be pretty good, but. It only lasts for like a few seconds, so. It's just one of the ways to. kind of bypass the need of leveling up, in a sense. So. But it does mostly rely on the weapon's level. Oof. I'm just doing that now because you get the refill. Thank、you
Oh yeah, the ball killed me. Right. I was trying to remember, it's like, where did I die again? Fucker, dude, I thought I was far enough back. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if you guys can hear that, like, while I'm talking. I do have the, like, noise gate and stuff, but... Somebody's using some kind of machinery outside, and... It's kind of loud. Sorry about that. Come on, get all grouped together. Still nothing. There we go. That is a pretty easy way to get runes, by the way, just taking out that group of uh, guys. I don't remember the name of those enemies, but... Oh shit. Oh, he's going faster. Oh, this is bad. This could be bad. Hate these little pachinko ball things. Ugh. Should I start New Game Plus? I mean, I would wait until you have the, again, smithing stone bell bearings, but. Like, yeah, just acquire any bell bearings that you want first. But aside from that, yeah. I would say so. I don't know if these balls can bleed, so... I'm just gonna do this. Okay. 
Okay, keep stamina. There we go. And I would try my hand at this guy, but it's a lot harder if you don't have a ranged attack, so I'm just gonna leave him alone. Actually, kind of same for the other one. I don't know. I don't think the other one drops down either. Actually, I don't think this one drops down at all. I think it just stays up there. Thankfully, I think these guys are going to be pretty easy. Like, again, because they're humanoid. And if I kind of just stay back, I won't... Oh, well, maybe he is aggroed. Okay, alright. Looks like you're fucked, buddy. Alright. And these are the last couple guys I gotta fight before the next side of grace, so I'm just gonna use the stuff. it, but may as well have it, right? Mm. What Ash of War compliments it? The Peeler? Oh, I think it meant before, saying like different Ash of War to um, give it better bleed buildup. As far as I know, the, the best one for buildup is uh, Seppuku. decks with all the other stuff, um, like the White Mask, the, um, the Lord of Blood's Exaltation, uh, Millicent's Prosthesis, Rotted Wing Sword Insignia, and then you stick with Jump Attack, so you use the Claw Talisman and the Raptor's Black Feathers, and... Yeah, it's, it's just ridiculous. It's really fucking good.
Oh wait, does the thing not spawn because I haven't talked to Rani about it? Let's you go through anyway, though, right? Yeah. Alright. I'm just gonna grab a few things here and then go back to the, uh... the normal shit. Actually, my flask is only at plus five. I guess I should get some sacred tears, but... Yeah... Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get out of here. different Ash of War. I mean, there's like Blood Tax. I think he can put that on Twin Blades. I don't think it does that great. Pretty sure that's the other one. Still takes some HP, yeah. Don't think I hit up the Church of America over here yet. Actually, I don't remember if I hit up either of the ones on Altus Plateau that, like, have a sacred tear in them. But yeah, there's one, like, right here. That's low enough? Is there... There's a way down over here, though, I think. I think that's fine. Yeah. I happened to put the marker right on the thing. Oh, hey, look at this. I don't think I grabbed this one yet either, because I usually grab the side of grace over here on the way. It currently has 118. Uh, level 21, even when it was like 13, still had 104. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Well, I don't know what they were doing, but hopefully whatever it was, I hope they're done. Actually, 
Nope. Alright. That's fine. Whatever. But yeah, if you want to do a bleed uh, setup, definitely get the White Mask and uh, Lord of Blood's Exaltation before you start New Game Plus. Oh yeah, there's a freaking graveyard here. I forgot about that. I always forget about this one. Oh, there is a path down. Okay. I was gonna say, I think there's one. Oh, I can just fast travel. Okay, cool. I was just waiting for the guys to not be aggroed anymore. Um... Actually, I think... This one? I mean, I don't really want to fight Vike, but I think that one has one. Um, did I? I don't remember if Smoldering Church has one or not. I guess I could check. I know the other one does. Um, the one that Millicent is waiting at. Yeah, even if you killed Vare, I don't think that's a problem. Like, Vare doesn't give it to you directly I'm just gonna go this way because I don't care to fight what's in it, but They don't have one. Froth actually isn't that far, is it? I don't remember. I usually just go the Celia Crystal Tunnel path and then... Because that's Celia. That's the church.
Yeah, that's definitely that's definitely the place where Millicent is. Oh, and there's a spirit spring. Oh, right, because that's how you get up to that spot. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's right here. Fuck that. I don't have to do the Celia puzzle shit. Oh, and that's one of the Starlight Shards. Yep, I could have grabbed that. Eh, not that it matters. You really only need two. I mean, I could do the whole thing where I get the prosthesis for her and then just kill her, but... I might change my mind later, but uh, it's just... I don't think it matters all that much. I mean, Shield Crash does hit quite a few times in succession. Like, it could work pretty well. I guess. But then I have to fight Commander Nial. And then take Gary the Thing, and then take it back to her, and then go to Dominula. Or no, and then go to Shaded Castle, and then Urtree Gazing Hill after I get the thing, and give it to her, and then Dominula, and fight Godskin Apostle. It, it's just a lot of stuff. Uh, I don't know. There, there, there's no rush on it. It's not like I'm struggling against enemies and shit. I could just come back later. Are there any other sacred tears like I'm just forgetting about? Oh, you know what? I don't think I grabbed the super easy one. Church of Earth? I don't think so. I mean, maybe I did. It's just like a quick, like, get in, get out kind of thing. Yeah, it's not there. these ones to get the sacred tears there. I didn't go to the Frenzy Village Church. I think that's somewhere... Or is it this one? Yeah, I think it's actually... Oh, that outline kind of looks like a church. It might be right here. That might be it. All right. Uh, how do I do it? Do I need to get to Mog, Ruvari? No, you don't have to. No, you don't have to do it that way. You can do it that way, and it's a little bit faster, but you don't have to. Lost Ash of War, um, there is one, I think I may have already recommended this one, but there is one right before the Magma Worm Makar fight at the previous Side of Grace, the Ruins to Ruin Precipice Overlook. You just go down the elevator and it's like behind the platform where the two harpies are. Like, there's not too many throughout the game, but... The medallion you can use to get to Moog's area. Yeah, that's a shortcut to get there. Um, 
The other way is more du more complicated, but if you go to Consecrated Snowfield, which requires the Halig Tree Medallion, um, like it's it's a pain in the ass to do it that way, but. It's like on the western side of the Consecrated Snowfield, there's like a tunnel with a teleportal thing that takes you there. If you just look up mm, Lord Mogwin's Mogwin Dynasty Mausoleum, I think is what it's called. <clears throat> I think there's like different instructions on like how to get there I don't know if that's correct Mog Mogwin Palace. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the area is called Mogwin Palace. Right. Uh, yeah, Consecrated Snowfield, northwest of Yilo, Ye Ye Yilo Annex Ruins. Northwest of there. If you've already killed Vare. So, yeah, if you don't have the Halig Tree Medallion and haven't been there yet, it it's 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 a pain. Um I mean you could just wait till New Game Plus when Vare is alive again. That's easier. And basically it's just to get the Lord of Blood's exaltation in the white mask. Like, there's a few other things worth grabbing. Like, there's a golden seed down there. Uh, blood tax, Sash of War is down there. Alig Drake, Talisman plus two is down there. Swarm of Flies is down there. Which is not nearly as good as it used to be and is now basically useless. But, you know. This other thing you guys mentioned earlier, the new Limgrave dungeon that was discovered or something. Which, I mean, probably sometime this last month, probably. I mean, there was this article, like Elden Ring player finds a new cave after playing for over 400 hours. Apparently called High Road Cave. I 
that's the one that you're referring to. I mean, that's not really a new discovery. I think that's just somebody wrote an article because, like, somebody thought it was, uh, it was something they hadn't come across. Pretty sure I've been there. I've been through the whole map. Like, there was a point when I was just like, oh, I'm going to go to every location in the game. I mean, I'll double check this. I mean, it does carry over a new game plus when you like any discovered locations, so. Yeah, it's right there. It's not a big deal. Okay. I mean, there's interactive maps online for Elden Ring, just like where people have been like filling in the map over these past two years. I'm pretty sure they found everything. Like also data miners, like it's just, yeah. Like, is it missable? Yeah, it does it. Oh, it's where you get the blue dancer charm. Yeah, that's probably why I knew about it, because there's a talisman there. Damn. But, it's part of the great thing about the game, too, is like, you know, just in... Just because that first thing that I wanted to do, just get every spell in the game, it led me to a lot of corners of the map I wouldn't have gone to ordinarily. And some things that admittedly I missed, you know, but it was, um, stuff like that. I feel like if you go for every talisman and every spell, like, you're, you're gonna see most of the game. Oh, right, 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 right. Um, wait, what's the other north by northwest? What am I looking at? We appear somewhere. Um, what? What am I looking for? Sorry, apparently I left a stray marker somewhere and I... Oh, is that it? Oh, from when I was trying to find the strength tier. Yeah, I was off. It was right here. Yeah. Okay, so this is a cliffside, apparently. So, how does one get up there?
I mean, I know there's a path up here, but... Yeah, this is Frenzy Village, right? It's the rats, right? And the church should be up here on the right. Yep. Cool, cool. That marker was correct. Straight death, okay. Let's avoid that. Definitely still missing some churches. Oh yeah, there's one at the top of the hill where you get the Golden Order seal. Alright, I didn't grab that. to get to Mog's area. I know there's some skip videos that let you go anywhere in Among Us Palace. Let's kill Millicent. Freehand, nice. Uh, you know, Millicent's prosthesis, useful for your build, which I'm guessing is bleed, you ending the stream. No? Oh, is it stuck on buffering for a second or something? No. No, I'm playing on PlayStation, man. It says right in the title. Um, no, I've just done a lot of challenge runs. So a lot of those are from previous challenge runs where I, you know, beat the game under certain circumstances. And so I've had to delete a few to make room for other shit, like this new one, so... Also, I have, like, you know, characters that I started with friends, and, you know, I don't play them unless I'm playing with them, so... A lot, a lot of different situations, you know. Wait, does this one not have one? She is... I forget what she says here. I'm just gonna see what the deal is. Spoken echoes linger here. Words of Queen Marika, who vanished long ago. If you wish, I will share them with you. In Marika's own words, I declare mine intent to search the depths of the Golden Order. Through understanding of the proper way, our faith, our grace, is increased. Those blissful early days of blind belief are long past. My comrades, why must ye falter? It's kind of weird you get a different gesture just for listening to a thing. Hmm. It 
So she's just like, yeah, the Golden Order's fucked up, yo. Yo, that Golden Order, though, shit is whack. <laughs> Whatever happened to calling things whack? Let's, let's bring whack back. Shit is whack as fuck. It's wiggity whack. Plus, yeah, wiggity whack, that's just fun to say. Man, Vare is whack for calling us maidenless, true. <sighs> I got whacked pretty hard right there. Does great.
I mean, it's doable. It's really close, actually. But... I think I killed him after I got the medal. He was annoying next to Patches. Oh, Vare or this guy? All right, I'll get him.
start. Did that not count as a blocked attack? Hmm. Not sure why that went completely through my shield. I was like mid crash. I was wearing. Very strange here. Okay. I guess if I'm going to dodge punish the fireball, I need to make sure I'm not straight on. Like, uh, make sure I'm off to the side. What the hell? Hide in the corner, bro.
fucking coward. Get over here. Dude is the bane of my existence for a whole afternoon. <laughs> yeah, right? No, the first time I fought him, it did not go so swimmingly. For sure. Um, yeah, I was definitely stuck on him for a while. It's, uh, it's pretty cool, though. Like, they just put one of those skill check bosses, like, before Leyendel, you know? Because for... A like, he has a cheese method, for sure. You can knock him off the cliff if you're careful. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's just one of those bosses. You just gotta learn his patterns and shit, you know? But yeah, for some of those attacks, I don't know why the shield crash, like, block wasn't blocking some of it. It's kind of weird. It's like, I think it has to do with, like, the block radius. I know, but anyway. It's all good now is a thing of the past. Much like my herpes. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't have herpes. It's a joke because, you know, it's herpes for life. There's no cure for it. Crash is OP. Just killing everything with this fucking shield I found in Stormvale. It's very satisfying. For a hot minute, I'm just gonna run around and grab, like, some free items and shit. So there's a lot of good stuff here. I didn't even dodge that first one. Dude just whiffed. That's, that's all that was. Alright. I'm gonna listen to Melina's little... little thing. G shield, yeah, has shield bash, country. right? Elmer's does Here, too, it adds bleed, yeah. I can govern my own movement, and thus, the accord is fulfilled. I shall depart, 
to ascertain the purpose I was given. Farewell. I shall leave Torrent and the power to turn runes into strength. Here, with you, I wish you luck in realizing your ambition. You have fought long and hard. I have no doubt you will become Elden Lord. May you take the throne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's bleed. Yeah, the um, thing is, like, having prerequisites to getting certain items and stuff. Like, definitely for this run, I think the Palisade Shield would be the best, because you can just run and grab it. Like, there's no prerequisite. Aside from that, like, Jellyfish Shield, because it's just on the ground. But, um... This one has better guard boost than either of them, and for a lot of those unique shields, like you can't change the Ash of War, so that's also a problem. Because yeah, while Dragon Claw Shield is pretty good, you can't change the Affinity or the Ash of War, so and Shield Crash is just better than Shield Bash. So at least in every situation, I've came across so far. Of course I'm gonna kill this fucking Erdtree Avatar because it drops like 50,000 rune. And he's a wuss. Why most of that missed, but okay. Whoops. Crucible Knights, yeah, Crucible Knights suck. Not a fan, and their incantations. I feel like should be better. For poise reduction though, like the horns incantation is actually really freaking good. Um, as long as the enemy is somewhat susceptible to holy damage. But that's like highly buffable. So. But yeah, for most enemies, it can just knock them right on their ass. Put like canvas flock talisman, Godfrey icon, holy. Uh oh, okay, that's fine. Um, That's a problem. What the? I hit dodge. Fuck. 
This might be one of those situations where Shield Bash is actually better. Just because of the timings. I mean, I guess I could do like the short version. Instead of holding it, but... Also, not sure this one is, uh... Can bleed? Might be better off with, like, trying to frostbite it. think that would work out, but it did. Cool. Yeah, I don't want to go back there. Thank you. want to take these guys out over here. And I guess I could... Yeah, it's fine. Well, let's say do that. I was like, where's the other guy? Okay. And there's a few other things towards the entrance I want to grab. No. No. No what to what. 
Oh, my death earlier? Did something else happen? Probably just get bigger to 30 first. Why do I have points in dexterity? Do I need points in dexterity? Oh, for the jellyfish shield, I did. Okay. I kind of want to switch to the Palisade partially because of the the weight difference. But mostly because of the Frost and Bleed. I think, I don't know. I'll probably wait till I get the next spell bearing for uh, Smithing Stones, but... I actually have not checked the upgrades in a while. Oh, wait, I did remember to grab the thing, right? Yeah. That was rude. All out of stone sword keys. That's not bad. I just don't really want to use shield crash up here. I just like eat myself off of a, you know, off of a rooftop seems like a bad move. That's the only other thing over there. Fuck, I overshot it. Damn it. Damn it. Like, I could probably try to find my way back up, but it just... I don't know the path, and it would probably be faster just to do this again. Plus, there's a Leandel Knight down there that now I won't have to fight because I went back this way. Because from here I can just drop down like so. Like, I could fight the guy. Well, yeah, why not? They are no match for my shield crash. It's kind of nuts how effective that is for, like, humanoid enemies. Are you just... randomly patrolling here? Oh, there's another guy. Oh, it's one of the stronger guys. Is he alone? Oh, you're... Fuck. Damn it. I 
thought they were just like, hmm. I thought they didn't aggro like that. Hmm. Like, I knew there was a group of enemies nearby down there, but I don't know. I'm not sure how that first guy got aggroed. going this way because it's a little bit safer. Well, it would have been if I didn't do that. everywhere and grab everything here and just a few things Although, this knight, who's just asking to get kicked off of a ledge... Definitely gonna do that. Bye bye Our ones, <laughs> dude, hemorrhaged. Fuck. All right. I think this is actually number four. No, it's number two. Shit. Well, after this one, it'll only be one more to get the next flask thing. So. Alright, fine, I'll go down here first. Fuck okay. it. I think this is just the coated sword, so don't really care, but I could sell it, so why not, right? That would 
be a seed bed curse, which I'm not doing the dung eaters quest, so I don't care. I can't remember if there's anything up here. Oh. I'm glad somebody's making use of the kitchen, you know? Might as well. Grab this one. I think that's right after the uh, Godskin Apostle in Dominula, I believe. Okay. Let's get a little rampart, you know. Went down the second, second st set of stairs, yeah. First one, there's a different rune. The uh, uh, Ritual Shield Talisman, I'm definitely going to grab that. And then I think it's time for Gold Free. Just especially with this build, the Ritual Shield Talisman is going to be very helpful. fight these guys, but they're not really worth my time. Actually, that no was a while ago. The chat's been pretty quiet. I mean, I'm assuming people are just chilling. Okay. Yeah, that all looks good. That looks correct. Oh, just chilling like a villain? Okay, yeah. Well, he said no earlier, and I wasn't sure. Like, I didn't check, like, stream health or anything like that. 
to make sure everything was gold. Golden. Lord of all that is golden. Alright. Cool. Just making sure. I mean, it usually, like, you know, pops up with, like, a warning or something. Like, hey, something's wrong with the stream, you know, that kind of thing. The only villain is talking about Tree Sentinel? Oh, uh, yeah, Tree Sentinels are cool. I like them. I mean, I don't, but, you know. It's cool enemy design. I like the design of the guys. No, I was talking about the tree sentinel, spam magic on the fool. Stood up on that piece of ruin and rained down chaos. Nice. The tree sentinel is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like the first one in the game? Like Meteorite of Estelle? <laughs> but Ikea, I shall kill you with meteors. Oh wait, last side? No, no, I won the other one. Fuck, staying right here. Yeah, autopilot fucked up. <laughs> barely, barely touched this coffee that I, well, drank like half of it. Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> anyway. It's like Popeye has a spinach, I have my coffee. Except it doesn't give me any kind of superpowers, it just helps me uh, perform like a normal human. Whatever the fuck that is. Motherfucker. Uh, excuse me, you motherfuckers. I, mm, I don't even really. Mm. Uh, there's more of them. Stop. Let me... Uh, uh, uh. I'm gonna give me the option for the Steak America. It's right fucking there. Come on, game. I just don't want to fight every motherfucker on the way there. Alright. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm just gonna run in there this time. If I die to Godfrey, whatever, I'll just do Steak of America so those guys won't be aggroed. 
what I meant to do last time, but... these guys even are there? Like, what, 16, 17 of them? Dude, really? Yeah, the one at the beginning, yeah. Man, controller's starting to get clammy. Oh, spaghetti. Golden douche pig. Golden douche pig. Ah, uh, douche pig.
Yeah, that's that's fine. I can bleed on him. I'm not sure if he can bleed, honestly. Uh, I may be better off just going with the uh, jump attacks. Bullshit was that? Shield Crash is way better damage, especially if I land the whole string, but it does pretty much completely deplete my stamina, so... Oh, wait, wait, wait. But maybe... Yeah, Great Shield Talisman. And instead of Great Jar Arsenal, go with the new one, the Ritual Shield Talisman, which... I mean, I'm going to have to downgrade my armor, but until I get hit that first time, I'm going to have way higher defense anyway, so who the fuck cares? Totally fine with us.
mal. Rotating piece of shit. Fuck you, gold free, dumbass. It's getting intense. Almost a 30. It's kind of the main goal right now is don't die in one shot to everything. See, so I need 13,000. That's not outside of reach, especially with all this good shit I picked up. Um, yeah, I'll go with that. Would you juice? Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. All right, there we go. 30. All right, I think now I'm going to start putting stuff into probably strength for now, and then depending on how Morgout goes, I might respec. I don't know. I could save that for later, I guess. But I haven't fought, like, the fake enemies yet, and I have... five larval tears. So, really not bad. So if I go fight the fake bear, and the fake lobster, and the fake lion, that's three more. But even just the five that I have now, I don't think I'm going to go through all of them. Because I do want to try using out the palisade, uh, the cold uh, palisade shield. But I'd have to put some points into intelligence for the cold buildup and also improve the thing. Just push you into a corner, how about that? Oh. Oh, this is not going to work out in your favor. <laughs> Tried whip only run. Yeah, 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 I've done whip only before, and then kind of whip only with the Castlevania run that I did recently. But that one was a bit more flexible. Yeah, whip whips are not bad. They're good for a surprising number of enemies in the game. They really suck for some of them, but yeah, it's they're they're, they're not bad. They're pretty good. Um, they're kind of shit for status buildups, though, so if you're trying to do, like, bleed or frost, it's not the best. But, uh, especially the... if you want to go fire, like, the fire giant's whip is actually quite good. Um, and then you can just duplicate the remembrance of the fire giant to get two of them in a single run. Um... Morgat is probably not going to go well, partially because I'm still just level 65 and there's a lot of stuff I'm missing. Um, it might be okay. I actually haven't been back to Roundtable Hold in a while. So I want to see if there's like... I want to see what the situation is with like upgrades and stuff. Um, 
and whether I should upgrade this shield or start working on upgrading the Palisade shield because I have plenty of runes. I could either up level up a couple more times or spend a bunch to upgrade something, but I really have to urinate, so I'm going to go pee. I'll be back in a few short minutes, probably like five, maybe less, and um, then I'll look into the upgrade situation and then fight Morgoth. Thank 
There we go. Yeah, the Fallout TV show that was that was announced a while back. I, I don't know how when they're going to be coming out with episodes, but oh, maybe that's why they're doing a next gen upgrade for Fallout Four now. Maybe. I don't know, just to get more people into Fallout, maybe. We'll see. Who knows? Maybe they'll bring, um... What's the other one that everybody loves? New Vegas? Something about Vegas? No, 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 no. I need to... Oh. Don't pay me, I just lay out your... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're on fives, which I can't buy yet. Cause five and six is at the Zamor Ruins. I'm gonna do this now just because it's gonna be more damage and it doesn't weigh as much I'm like yeah blood loss proc is gonna be lower but it should be able to inflict frost pretty damn fast And I need rooms. Okay. It's not surprising. Okay. Um, and that's... Back or no matter. Twos, okay. So I'm gonna need two more twos. And a lot of runes. Spend this now. If there's anything left over, I'll whatever. Just use it. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I think it is called Fallout New Vegas, right? The one that everybody is into. It's been like. Yo, bring it to modern platforms, what the fuck? Uh, okay, so twos, I need two of those. I need ten of these. 
and eight of these. Okay. still be heavy. Okay, if I wanted to put Jellyfish Shield in the offhand, what can I wear? Oh yeah, I just got one of these. Okay, Great Jar Arsenal. Shield Talisman, Great Shield, Warrior Jar Shard, yep. Um, okay, so it's not that close. Oh, there we go, medium. Because that way I could take advantage of Contagious Fury and then use this as my main. And I'm going to need... Probably Magic Scorpion Charm for the... Because I'm going to be dealing magic damage now. So... Should go get the magic shroud and cracked here. Back over no matter. Can upgrade this as well, which I'm not gonna use the jellyfish shield as damage anymore just because I can't change the Ash of War. So let's do this. Okay, so fives a I... Okay, so that's as much as I can upgrade that. All right, that's fine. Sell, I'm just gonna sell enough to level up like twice, I think, probably. Should be about 50, I think now, right? A little bit more. Could probably put some points into intelligence. Which I guess most of the scaling is still gonna come from strength, right? Yeah. Intelligence is at a D though. I guess I wouldn't really change this all that much, like I'm still going to use Flame Grant Me Strength and Golden Vow, so I need 25 Faith. I don't know. Yeah, I need the Dexterity to get the buff from the Jellyfish Shield. Because if I don't meet the stat requirements, I don't think I can use the buff. So I guess I don't really need to respec right now. I can just start putting points into intelligence. Which I need 26,000. Definitely have that. Well, that took me my match. I had your own. And that'd be 55. I could just sell all these and level up twice. Yeah. I mean, this is why I've been saving, like, all this shit. So I just need another 20,000. Like, I don't want to get rid of all of my fucking runes, but... Yeah, that's 22. So 
19, 20, wait, what did I need? Oh, 28, right. Um, 28, 3, okay. Back over so... 28-7, there we go. Get your int on, yeah, right. Finally, gonna be stacking some shit. Okay. I definitely want to keep Ritual Shield Talisman on just because it'll help me eat like one hit with, before taking a shitload of damage and definitely want Magic Scorpion Charm on. Well, I mean, I could do without it, but it does just increase magic damage, which is not a lot right now, admittedly. If I had the Ritual Sword Talisman, I'd probably go for that instead of the Magic Scorpion Charm right now. And I don't have Great Shield Talisman on, which... Admittedly, I'd probably go for that instead for the time being. And of course, Great Jar Arsenal. I am going to have to put points into Endurance. Pretty soon, uh, it will stack with Erdtree's favor, though. But still, okay. So I should, I should go fight the Putrid Avatar to get the Opaline Hard tier, and I definitely want to fight the other one up here to get the magic shroud and crack tier which wait i already have this oh that's way that's way closer all right do you play claw because it's easier to dodge attacks claw like the like these like claw weapons. Oh, you mean like claw grip? No. Because you can just change the button mapping. So for me, because I just changed jump to triangle basically. Makes things easier. Because that's how I played Sekiro and it just it feels better. Oh. There it is. Trying to remember how to get down here without taking damage. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do my incantation buffs first. Oh, it noticed. Fuck, I'm not even that close, dude.
Are you serious? Dude, it immediately goes away. Ah, oh, damn it. So you can't even do that. Wait, what if I change the offhand? Yeah, what if I just swap them? Elden Ring is probably just like, no, we, we are not left-handed. <laughs> oh. Actually, yes. I mean, I won't be able to two-hand it, but I don't think that'll be an issue. Probably. I mean, it will for jump attacks, but... If I'm just using shield crash, then I, yeah, I don't think that's going to be an issue. Okay, so from here... Oh, Lennon's Rise would actually be closer, but I didn't grab that one. Well, that's a shame you can't uh, do the buff and two hand. Whoops. Oh, maybe. Maybe if it's on the left. No, it goes away immediately. Because if the shield. If the jellyfish isn't red, you can't do it. So. Like, I mean, the buff is not active. Just gonna grab uh, Lens Rise Side of Grace first. Kind of forgot I didn't have it. Um, but no, about about what you were saying earlier, Aaron. Um, the only the only other weapon type I haven't like done a run for yet is uh, bows. Well, I mean... Technically, that's not correct, because I haven't done, like, a... like, thrusting sword or heavy thrusting sword run, but those are, like, legit weapons. So... A, as, as far as like an unlikely weapon type, I guess. Like no one in the right mind would main this kind of thing. But yeah, claws are actually pretty good. I've done a claw only run before and that was actually not tough at all. Claws are pretty legit. Did I already hit this up? Yeah, I already hit this one up too, so why didn't I just go down here and get this? But yeah, like bows only? I've never done that. I've actually barely used the bows in this game. So I definitely want to uh, correct that. So, Nyx. But yeah, I really don't need that one. Just put magic on there. Uh, this one is going to be more of a pain in the ass. Just because the, um... It does, like, the splash thing with, like, the Scarlet Rot, like, shit that does instant damage. What the fuck? But Opaline Hard Tier is one of the better ones in the game, so 
I definitely want to grab it. Shit, not what I meant. Fuck. There we go. Fuck, I forgot to change it again. Son of a bitch. He changed the Ash of War to Shield Crash. Uh, I've only ever used a bow at the start of the game because I didn't know what the fuck is happening. Yeah, exactly. I feel like most people try the bows once, and then they're like, oh, well this might come in handy, and that's it. <laughs> like, they never touch a bow again. There we go. Oh, immediately? Oh, that's a problem. Oh, that's not good. I hate this thing's hitboxes.
was weird. Also, I think Contagious Fury disappeared as soon as I did Shield Crash. Is that real? Oh, no, 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 it stayed active. Okay. Shit, fucking hitboxes, man. I mean, it does a really good build up when it hits, but yeah, the Urtri Avatar's hitboxes are just garbage. Also terrible just because like the splash 
of that scarlet crap is just like seemingly random. Kind of goes out in all directions. How did none of that hit? Oh, this boss, uh, it's for the Opaline hard tier, so 15% extra damage negation for a full three minutes. So, pretty huge.
Yo, Kelsa Gramer, YT, thanks for subscribing. Appreciate that. I hope you're doing well. Not even sure if you're subscribing because of the stream or something else on the channel, but appreciate it. Thank you. Senpai! Oh my god, Senpai! What's up, bra? What's going on, Brodeo? Gross. Nobody likes it. <laughs> Just woke him up. Way different time zone. Hopefully, no, it's 7 p.m. Still different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, naps are totally fine. Don't nap, shame. <laughs> naps are good, man. I'm a little jealous I can't take naps, but. Naps are good, I am told. Sleep is importante. Really? 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 What? Ah, oh, dude, already? Just spewing his garbage.
Ah. There's there's no reason there's no such thing as different time zones, just other time zones. Ah fuck. Fuck. Why? Why are you aggroing so like early now? Okay, so that can't one-shot me. Alright, good to know. I just didn't have enough health left last time. Oh, he didn't do the follow-up attack? <laughs> You're lost, man. That would have hit. Attacked. Fair enough, fair enough, fair. Oh, cool. Yeah, just get, get fucked. Alright, dope. that guy. Alright. I'd say now's a pretty good time for Morgoth. 
GG. <laughs> Thanks, man. Was that co coffin for Christmas? <laughs> All I want is a coffin for Christmas. I guess Yule, it's a Yule tree. Whatever. Uh, oh yeah, um, intelligence, right. Okay, Opaline Hard Tier and Magic Shroud and Crack Tier. Which is definitely gonna help out for the lack of defense right now. Reach Hill Talisman, we're gonna try and yep, that's all good. I can't wear something slightly better, nope. Alright, that's fine. Let's see how Morgat do. Of course, let me grab my girl Melana. Fingers need a little break, so I'm just gonna let this cutscene play. Graceless, tarnished. What is thy business with these thrones? Ah, Godric the Golden. The twin prodigies, Mikola and Melania. General Radan. Praetor Rikard. Luna Princess Rani. Willful traitors, all. Thy kind are all of a piece. Pillagers emboldened by the flame of ambition. Have it writ upon thy meager grave. Morgoth, last of all kings. All right, all right, all right. Oh. Also, how does Mel and I have like 10,000 HP? Like... I get they probably just buffed like... NPC helpers... HP, because otherwise they would just die like super fast. And no one would use them.
All right. Yeah. Yeah. So I got to play less aggressive. I mean, it's not BS. I, I need to watch out for his area of effect, like falling sword bullshit. Which, I just called it bullshit, so, I, I mean, yes, it is kind of BS, but... I mean, I know why I died. Putrid avatar where it's just like none of that connected. I mean, Shield Crash can power through, like, a decent amount of his shit, but... Yeah, if that... Getting stance broken is, uh... Not great. It's something that's gonna happen. Inevitably. But... It's alright. I mean... It would happen less if I was using a better shield for actual, like, blocking and shit, because physical is not at 100. And guard boost is not as good as the manor tower shield, but, you know, it's got the bleed in, the frost build up, which I haven't seen it proc blood loss yet, but it should technically happen. So, I don't know. I mean, the frostbite alone, like, that's happening pretty fast. I mean, that's mostly what I'm doing now, is just kind of figuring out which attacks I can power through and which ones I probably shouldn't. So yeah, that one where he drops all the swords? Probably not. Probably a bad idea. I mean, I'm dealing decent damage. I'm not concerned about that part.
I got more runes for the putrid avatar than that guy. <laughs> Fucking Morgoth. Should I say Margit? I mean, he's the same guy, right? I still think about that guy, like, kind of frequently. Just like, is he the same guy? He seems to be the same guy. Hello again. Old friend, allow me a moment to converse with you. You were unable to enter the Erd Tree, no? Prevented by the mantle of barbs. The thorns are impenetrable. A husk of the Erd Tree's being that spurns all that exists without. The only way to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord is to pass the thorns. My purpose serves to aid in that very act, so I'd like you to undertake a new journey with me to the Flame of Ruin, far above the clouds, upon the snowy mountain tops of the giants. Then I can set the Erd Tree aflame and guide you down the path to becoming Elden Lord. Shall I turn your runes to strength? Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment, share them with me. Your thoughts, your ambitions, the principle. unsure as to what I should put points into. Probably should get more HP again for a bit. It's because I'm still kind of at that point where a lot of bosses will pretty much be able to kill me in one shot. Not entirely, but especially with the Ritual Shield Talisman. However, I'm going to be able to go get the next bell bearing now. Uh, Zammer Ruins. 
Shoo, that's going to be very helpful. Okay. I mean, the. Also, not sure if I want to go with cold anymore, honestly. Um. Like, frostbite does help when it procs, like, and then also doing more damage while it's active. Technically, bleed should be propping, but I haven't seen it happen yet, the setup, so... Fire giant time? Yeah, pretty much. Um, there's really nothing I want to grab before fire giant, or... I should say go do before fire giant because duh I'm gonna grab like you know items and runes along the way but as far as what to fight next yeah speaking of which Really? Dude? What the? How did that work? Oh, whoops, wrong one. Well, that sucks. I guess I don't really need the somber smithing stone. I was gonna fight him because of the, um... Teardrop Scarab that was around the corner. Which I think it's somber... 6 or 7, I want to say. But... Basically planning on either using the Tower Shield... Or the manor shield for the rest of the run, maybe one of the other ones. You can get the great shield from the Landell Knights. Um, if I remember right, that's actually pretty damn good. I'd have to look at the stats again, but... It might be worth farming before leaving. Or before burning the air tree, I guess. Yeah, fire giant's gonna be not fun. Um, I mean, this thing is effective. I'll, I'll be. I don't think it's gonna be that bad. Because he does bleed pretty easily. He can inflict frostbite like easier than bleed, but um, that's why I was thinking of putting bleed back on the shield or manor tower shield, maybe or I don't know the landel shield, but um, check and see. Just gonna look up the stats for it again. Definitely want to go with the great shield though. Like the other shields, it's not really worth it. Um, what was it called? The Gilded Great Shield? Might be it. I don't think so. I think it's just Golden Great Shield is what it was called. Oh, 
the Gilded Grey Chi- Oh, it's from the Godric Knights. It's heavy as hell, though. It's part of the problem with a lot of these is, like, the weight. Can be Ashton War. Uh, Landell Knights. That is Guard of 100. Where's the other one? Manor Tower Shield. Oh, the Manor Tower Shield usually has Guard of 100 as well. I guess it changed because of the Ash of War that I put on it. It's not even really Yeah Okay, yeah, never mind It's not even really worth switching at this point Done Radon, yeah, I did Radon because I did the rainy thing and went down to uh, Noxtella. So, yeah. Alright, dude, cool rest of the stream. Gonna hit the hay. Alright, cool. Sounds good, Henry. And, um, just uh, hit me up on Discord whenever you get, like, you know, when I do the Elden stuff, we can hop on. Start new characters, like player main characters, whatever, it doesn't really matter. But I hope you sleep well. Catch you around. Um. So, yeah, if I switch to a different shield, I'll probably just switch back to the manor tower shield. Because the other ones, like, the stats aren't that much better or different. And that is one nice part about this shield, is just like. It's lighter than most of the other, like, great shields. It's, uh, I don't know. We'll see. I just kind of want to keep it on cold infusion just because, like, that magic damage is more buffable. Then just going straight bleed, but uh, according to the numbers, this uh, should be should be better. Cool, cool. Yep, no worries, Aaron. Appreciate you guys being here, though. It's been a really good stream. I think the turnout's been good. Just you know, it's been nice chatting with you guys. Uh, all, all the good stuff. All the good metrics. Very much helps out. There's a few things through here I could grab, but for the most part, I doesn't really matter. I don't really care. I mean, the golden seed. Oh, this is going to be the fourth one, I think. I believe so. I think I'm going to get another drink of tang. Can add more tang to my thing.
hoist. What a word. Hoist medallion. Some people hate the word moist. I think hoist is actually worst. Or worse. Just because it sounds terrible. Like hoist. Ugh. Just, I don't want to hoist anything. And the fact that it's a verb, you know? My god, you want to hoist? I'm like, no, no. No. <laughs> you kidding? Fuck no. I never want to hoist anything. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's a weird word for sure. It's weird and kind of gross. All right. I'm gonna go back. Cause now I can buy fives and sixes. And I haven't really like duplicated any remembrances yet either, so I could also do that to get like a bunch of runes, but I don't know. I don't know how many I need each, so I'm just gonna check that real quick. Well, I took you no match of uh, uh, fives. I need four. Okay. So I need ten fives. Okay. Ten fives and twelve sixes. And I'm gonna need rooms. Well, I need to sell you some shit, dude. My dude, I gotta sell you some shit. Here you go. Selling a remembrance. It's like, dude, if you could sell memories, man, that'd be great. I mean, I guess that's what, like, profiting off of nostalgia is in a way, but... All right, uh, let's see, we need eight of these to have 10, and then eight of these. Oh, cool. Happy little coincidences. These shield upgrades are way more expensive than I thought they'd be, though. Back over, no matter. Yeah, like 3,000. And I'm like halfway there. Well, a little bit more than halfway, but you know. Okay, one more, and it's like 4,000. So I'll just do 3922. Is that enough? Nope. Seventy-two? Yeah, there we go. Oh, and I have two sevens. Okay. Um, 4,140. Okay. Uh, let's just sell some of these that I'm never going to use. Enough? No. Perfect. Got two runes left. <laughs> All right. Plus nineteen. And three ninety nine. Frost buildup went up, 
I don't think blood loss buildup went up at all, actually. 65? Isn't that what it was? Okay, so what if I change it to bleed? What, 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 what do it what do? Two hundred five eighty four one twelve. Okay, it's like significantly less de damage though. So I'll just I don't know. Let's leave it on cold for now. And I'll probably put this back on just because that'll increase the magic damage as well. Um, I think that's good. Yeah, let's go with that. I mean, it's also going to increase my uh, damage taken, but I think the Ritual Shield Talisman will help offset that. And the Opaline Hard Tier. So we're at... Oh. That's like nothing without it. Fuck. Alright, so I just gotta stay at full health. Alright, that's fine. No worries. That's kinda the plan anyway. Take one hit and then, you know, heal back up to full. I mean, during shield crash, too, if the, you know, it's during the defensive part, then significantly reduce damage. Like, Fire Giant's not that bad. Like, you know, I gotta I get his moveset figured out. Like, there's a few things here and there, like, his area of effect attacks that are kind of bullshit sometimes, but. Yeah, I don't see it being a huge problem. Oh, Aaron, there's also, if you're still here, um, there's also a Lost Ash of War on this guy, I think. Is it this guy? Yeah. I think that was Aaron asking about that earlier. this out. On, draw an arrow. Thank you. Bad shit. Five twenty two. Okay, yeah, that's that's pretty good. Pretty good. And again, I don't really care about Somber, so I'm not going to grab that one either. Alright, I picked it up, no clue though. Alright, gotta go, enjoy the stream, good luck with the fire giant. Oh, thanks man. And Malaketh, and Godskin Duo, and Gideon, and Godfrey, and Radigan, and Elden Beast. I, I, but yes, thank you. <laughs> I think that's all the required ones, right? Oh shit, I could have done that a while ago. Fuck, that's right. Flask, got a trench flask, yep. Dope. Alright. Is that right? Fire Giant, then Pharaoh Mazula, which. 
Godskin duo, then Malakath, then Gideon, then Godfrey. It might have not said Godfrey. Anyway. It's not a lot of required bosses left, so. Feeling pretty good about it. Uh, we'll see. If I end up getting wrecked a little bit too much, I'll just probably switch back to the bleed thing so I don't have to use the magic scorpion charm. And I could also use, like, the strength knot thing. Um, could buff stuff in different ways, so. Also, if I put it on heavy affinity, what would the bleed be at? Oh, 70. That's not terrible. Not nearly as good as 112, but it's not bad. That's B scaling. Okay. Yeah, D scaling. Okay. Alright. I mean, with bleed, that's without putting any points into arcane, so... go to Castle Soul, I'd rather not. Gonna stay down here a little bit, just ride right past the dragon. to do that a little bit differently, but that seems to be safer. Just because that way you don't uh, piss off the lobsters, which are more of a problem for people just passing by than the dragon, actually, so... Okay, what are we at? Plus 10 now? Okay, let's go. Again, like, it would be really cool if you could put Prelate's Charge on shields, but since you can't, I'm not going to grab it. just should have taken the safer path of taking the spirit spring, but it's all good. I don't see any problem here, so I'm just going to skip that one. I mean, there's a sacred tier at the church where Oaken is, so I could just grab that one. There's a couple more runes and smithing stones on the way up, but it's not that many. I don't think I'm going to stop for anything. What's, 
What's it? what is that? Oh, fan daggers. Whoop, that's a thing. Whoop. Near. Near. Stay away, bird. Bird is really whoops. Being persistent. Bird, please. Oh, cool. Still right there. Good stiff. I mean, it could be doking out right now, but. It's just to get a weapon that I can't use, so who cares? Thousand, which eh, it's just four thousand. Who cares? I mean, I could technically go level up a little bit. Oh, I want to try that new thing I learned. Well, that I didn't learn. I want to. I had a feeling that's the intended way. Because, like, the Walking Mausoleum in Rey Lucaria, like, by Bellum Highway, it, um. This was actually the first one for me where I figured out what these things were for. Because like there was a point, there was a there's this time I was playing like shortly after the game launched where I just kind of hung out here for a little bit, and then I realized it was coming closer to the cliffside, and you can just wait till he's close enough to jump off of one of those tombstones onto his back, uh, and that's when I noticed like the white shit like stuck to him and it was coming off. But I think you can use the Spirit Spring to do the same thing. I mean, he still has to be close enough, though, which I think is actually, yeah, you wouldn't have to wait as long. I mean, it looks like you still have to wait, but...
Maybe. No. Right, next one. Fuck, really? Shit. Oh, that's cool. Ah, fucking... Come on, dude. Shit. Are you kidding me? Is it just not close enough? There we go. Nailed it. Good job. Thanks, Aaron. Okay, Radon's is definitely the most valuable. Ones. Uh, this might still be closer, maybe. Closer to the more northern one, I know that. That's it. Hmm. It's 
like, dude, I barely cleaned him up at all. Seriously? The fuck? Okay. I guess I'll come back later. I mean, I've gotten, like, a bunch of remembrances. Why would none of them be... Alright. Shwedevs. Huh. All right. Guess I'll come back to this one too. I could just go to like the entrance of Castle Soul to grab the mausoleum there. Um, which I mean, I could save it for later, but it's gonna be less helpful later, so. Because leveling up is still relatively cheap. Because most players would be at around level 100 right now, so...
nope, nope, nope. I think the death right bird follows you over here, but just in case, yeah. It's just more valuable than the other ones right now. Not to imply that the other ones become more valuable later, it just, you know. As opposed to the ones that I don't have yet. a hundred thousand to get three levels Probably just HP. Okay. It's about twenty five hundred. Just use two of those. Use one of these, I guess. It's fine. I mean, if I go in there with like a couple hundred, I don't care. But several thousand, I'd rather not.
Okay, all right. So, Magic Scorpion, Turn Ritual, Shield Talisman, Great Jar Arsenal, Warrior Jar Shard, right? Um, Raptors Black Feathers, less important. But it'll still strengthen jump attacks, so... I might use those every so often. The Opaline Hard Tier, Magic Shroud and Crack Tier, yeah. And if I go respec, I'll probably put the Intelligence Points into Arcane. And change it to bleed, that's probably all I would do. Pretty much. Also, did I put one point into mind, or is that because of this? Yeah, okay. But according to the numbers, this should do decently well. than taking damage. It's like, why are you not going into second phase, bro?
that attack. Really thought he was just doing the rolling over thing. So yeah, I mean, damage is decent. It's not bad. Like it did frostbite him. I do have plenty of larval tears. I could just go do the thing now. Because, like, God Skin Duo, you can. Like, magic is decent. Malaketh magic is decent. But, like, I'm sacrificing a good amount of defense with the Magic Scorpion Charm. And, like,. It would be good-ish. Really up until Elden Beast, but... I think the other ways can be better, maybe. Possibly. And it says... It's weird. It says 65 on blood loss buildup, but I have yet to see it actually proc. Where did he flee, my sweetings? Come out from whence ah, is it the to become now? Well, technically I could do without a little bit of that HP, but I should probably put a little bit more into Endurance, just because, like, stamina is very helpful. Also, Equip Load. I could actually probably even put more into Strength. I mean, maybe. I still need 25 Faith, so... I mean, I guess I could put it lower if I don't want to use Golden Vow, but Golden Vow also helps with the damage negation thing, so I don't want to do that. Dexterity, I kind of need 14 to use Contagious Fury. How many more do I get? Okay, up to 26. Okay, so that's not... It's not bad. I mean, I have the Larval Tear Mask too, which like I know it lowers like physical attacks or damage or something. But how much? It, it also raises Arcane by like nine points, I think. Um, I think that's what it's called, Larval Tear Mask. Silver Tear Mask. Right. Minus five AR. Minus five percent, sorry. Minus five is like nothing. Um Minus five percent is really not very much either. So I could just put the so that would actually put Arcane over Strength, which Strength makes more of a difference, so let's make that 22, and just put those 4 points into Strength. Mm, 
three, maybe one more for endurance. Or just, no, one more for vigor. You have just over a thousand HP, yeah, sure. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Show. Instead of magic scorpion charm, probably great shield talisman. Or just flame drake, which. It's not a huge difference, actually. Um. Yeah, probably Great Shield Talisman. Ritual Shield, Great Jars, Arsenalia. Raptors, well. Yeah, yeah. That's still a medium. Okay, so Exiles Greaves and Carry Night Gauntlets. Oh yeah, Silver Tear Mask is heavy, right? Um That seems worth it though. Alright, I need to change the affinity to this first. Um Yeah, it seems like the points in Arcane is going to be going to be worth it. It also just is good defensively. So, Shield Crash. Wait, why does it say Bash? Oh, because it's assuming I want to undo the enhancement. Okay, right. Um, okay, so blood, 115. Okay, mix. Change out magic shrouding for strength knot. And change navy hood for silver tear mask. Put arcane to 30. Change this to 123. Okay, yeah, that's that's already better. And now we're on heavy, so Noble's trousers, or maybe gloves. I can't wear that. Uh. I would only put it at 299, but then drink the thing, and then it's at 318. Okay, because that's strength of 43 and faith of 25. Now it's at 326 without, so it is technically higher, but then it does increase the bleed buildup, so... Technically, there's still more shit I could get to make this better. <laughs> still lurking here, Tendra fell asleep. Oh, dude, no worries, man. No worries. Um, could get the sword insignia and Millicent's prosthesis, although I would have to start Millicent's quest. and fight some optional guys. And I'd have to make room for two more talismans, which means I'd have to go without something here. 
which I guess it'd be Great Jar's Arsenal and Great Shield Talisman, but... Yeah. I mean, the effect wears off as soon as you stop doing successive attacks, so I don't think it would be that helpful. Considering Fire Giant likes to move away and stuff, but... I don't know. It, it, for other bosses like Godskin Duo and Malekith, like, yeah, it could... It could be better. Technically. Um, Alright. Let's see how this goes. Third. Since when does he do a third swing in that attack? Huh. All right. Well, I got some shitty RNG there, so I'm not counting that one as a. Oh yeah, the previous one was better. Maybe.
Yeah. That wasn't even close. Like when I could use the skill, sure. But ran out of FP like so fast. Gonna go get the other things. Um, the sword insignia and I guess Millicent's prosthesis. Because even if I switch back to the other thing, like it's still probably not gonna be great. And I, I want to see how this does with like against other enemies aside from the fire giant. And like, yeah, it's going to utterly destroy this guy in this cave, but it's not the thing. I'm kind of more curious about, like, what it's going to do to Commander Neal. Which, like, yeah, it'll probably also destroy him, but, you know. Oh, right, it's that one poison cave. Yeah, never mind. I was say, like, I'm not sure I even remember. I'm gonna do that. I think this is right. This is a dead end. Okay, where's the right way then? I thought that was the right way. Oh, fuckers. Get out of here. Oh, I think this is right. Yeah, 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 it's over here. And uh, don't drop, don't drop me, fuck. This feels right. Oh, because it's a grab. Oh. Oh. Yo, 
I was wondering about. I was like, how the hell did he break through my shield crash? Because it's a grab. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, part one and done. This part's gonna go through the thing and do the shit. Uh, Church of the Plague could go from here. Yeah. Yeah, there's a way down. Yeah. I could just go through. Well, actually, would that be faster? Yes, yes it would. Just to go from the first step uh, to the Dragon Burnt Ruins, take the teleporter trap, and uh, it basically just pops you right out at the uh, Celia understair. Yeah, I could go grab Lord of Blood's Exaltation too, that just takes longer. And it only helps after you proc bleed, so... Pretty sure what the sword insignia is like in Millicent's prosthesis. I think it's all forms of damage, not just physical. So, again, switching back to cold might be better. I mean, and there's a golden seed around here, so just realized I probably haven't grabbed that since I haven't been here yet. That's the staff of loss, so I don't give a shit about that. Let's see, Swamp Peonia. Visibility is actually pretty good today. There it is.
pleasure to see you. A pleasure indeed. I am... I'd hoped a strapping old friend should you accept. I will teach... Ah, I need your her name resting. Oh, as promised. Go on. Now, mm -hmm. well, well, the work of a... Can you give me... As well, me... I have awaited you the need. Will you give it? I will reward. Millicent tended to a wretched. <laughs> well, my flesh. It is a cup. You are to quell, but. Never mind. I would rather than some. Would you mind? Yeah. My main question is why did Commander Neil have it? Everything, even the night, not that I could, but mm -hmm. I'm concerned with the needle, my destiny. It's all thank my name is Nick. Oh, I'm concerned with the needle, my destiny. Okay, all right, and I don't think you have to go back to Gary Shack. Um. Pretty sure I just need to go to Erdtree Gazing Hill. Which. I think so. Pretty sure you have to give it to her there. If she is here, I might have to go back to Gary Shack. Yeah. I think she's usually right here. Yeah. Alright. So she has to talk about like her sword arm and shit like that and blah 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 and then you can get her the prosthesis and it's been a while since I've just done like the short version of this But I've only perhaps. Mm -hmm. Well, I must. I must. Well, I must. I must. Mm -hmm. And like technically, I don't have to like finish Shaded Castle. I just have to get the thing for her. Truth, the scarlet has such a rather very realize I could have eaten. Mm -hmm. Now I'm after an I should like I think she's in the land. Now she's past. Now she's past. Yeah. Also it's kinda strange, like she says her sword arm is her right arm, but I'm pretty sure she actually doesn't use it. Fairly certain she's left handed. So 
don't know, maybe it's a balance thing or something. I, I don't know. Spring, there it is. Never mind, I found it. And... Oh, that was a little short. The fact that they don't give you a sight of grace before this either, it's just like, dude. But why? Can I use that? Motherfucker. over there, I think? Still in combat? What the fuck? Why? This guy? Alright, good deal. 
I haven't gone there yet. Okay, it's fine. I have the blue hood, so... Up here, because the ballistas... Or the... They're not ballistas. Different type of siege weaponry. Um, fuck, what are they called? Arbalet? No, not an arbalest. Um, yeah, the name is escaping me right now. Millicent. Sign's supposed to be red right around here. Oh, there it is. Can you not right now? Ew. Ew, you ate your arm. This is a bad idea. Alright, the rest of you can just fuck off. Okay, as much as it pains me to do this. This is the earliest point where you can get it. I'm pretty... almost 100% positive. you have done. 
Okay. I think one of the artist things is around here, if I remember right. I don't know if it was one of the ones I grabbed or even what the reward is, but... This guy? I think so, right? Yeah. Oh, fire's deadly sin. Yeah, I don't care. Um... Yeah, I think the other way is going to be better, so... Like, it's just going to be more damage. And, like, Frostbite seems more reliable. So, instead of Great Shield Talisman, I'm going to go with the new one. Sword Insignia, and instead of Great Jar's Arsenal... Illicent's prosthesis, which is going to put me at heavy, which doesn't matter. I'm going to take off Silver Tear Mask for something, Navy Hood. And, um. Ruler's robe. Although Rainy's robe has better fire defense. Yeah, this uh doesn't look half bad, but really sucks. <laughs> it really sucks. Um, I mean, yeah, almost all my defense is coming from this thing. Yeah. yeah. It'll be alright, right? this out for magic shrouding which may or may not actually be more I mean it's 20% rather than it it probably will be actually yeah ah oh, is it time yeah yeah now Alright, I'm gonna need 25, and actually I could use Hallow Shabriri, which might be a bad idea. Yeah, that would be a bad idea. Um, probably same, if not more, HP. I could put a little bit more into Endurance, hopefully maybe be able to equip something better. Uh, strength at, I don't know, like, probably the same. Dexterity at the same. Intelligence to 20? Twenty? 23, I guess. Yeah. That's gonna be the same. Well, actually, I don't have enough faith for Hellish Brewery anyway, so. Yeah, fuck it. Plus, I'd take way more damage. It's kind of already a problem. Stances? Eh, uh, that. Not for Fire Giant, but maybe. Uh. That's, yeah, Ashes of War, change to, and cold, 
which would be 139. That's not bad. 65. 176. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, so it's at 395. Wow. Okay. Uh, Mills, this one is shard. Yeah, and three. Okay, almost at another level. Six, okay. Three, six, seven, 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 seven. So, like, 600 would do it. Right? Yeah, 600. Yeah. Um. mean strength probably still the main stat here so actually no let's let's get intelligence to 25 first just for cold buildup and that's another part of the damage so yeah I could use magic scorpion charm but already going to be running into the problem of taking way too much damage so I guess maybe I should try this out real quick. No, I'll just go for it. Doesn't matter. I need a damage sponge. <laughs> oh, that's coincidental because a uh, fire giant is a huge damage sponge. <laughs> Motherfucker has nothing but a damage sponge. All right, let's try this. I guess I'll just try with the buffs real quick, like. Just to experiment. No. Strength. It's very. And put that on. Bam. Okay, so what are we doing? 656 before even attacking. And these kick in. Okay, that's not bad. That is not bad. Gonna need more FP though, so.
It's all right. Totally fine. <sighs> I had him, but... I, I, sh I wasn't missing much HP, but I should have just, like, stayed at full. I should have healed anyway. Which I just remembered. Um, I did increase my... Uh, equip load. A little bit. Could put the Raptors Black Fathers on. This is actually way better for fire damage negation, though. So maybe just the pants? Noble's trousers, that would be better. It's not that much heavier either. Ooh. And the gloves, apparently. And that's about it. Okay. That was pretty close, though. Pretty close. That was blood loss. Oh shit. so well, too. I mean, that is the most dangerous part of the second phase. It's just that beginning, so... Maybe just wait for that, mostly.
fucker. Sorry, I got him now. Like most of the time, like the only two problems I have with this boss is just like the terrain and the hitboxes. Like that's that's pretty much it.
dude. That was fucked. <laughs> Four levels, huh? That would be 200 more HP, that's pretty good. Which you'll probably need. Put one into intelligence, yeah. <sighs> Damn, dude. hands are like way too clammy right now <laughs> and uh i need a second so i'm just gonna let this play it's been a while since i've seen this cutscene anyway I like i usually skip it the lands between this world is in dire need of repair and death indiscriminate are you prepared to commit a cardinal sin very well. Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment. You shall burn. Burn for the sake of the new Lord. Guiding me here. The 
the one who walks alongside flame shall one day meet the road of destined death. Goodbye. So I need to start food, um, cause we need to eat dinner, but it's gonna have to bake for a little bit in the oven, so I'm gonna do that, which it'll take a few minutes to get that going. But I'm feeling pretty good. He, um... Fire Giant was definitely the issue I was worried about the most. Elden Beast is probably going to also be a problem, but... Oh. Like, by that point, I'll be able to have the... get the... This just obliterates them. Oh, whoops. Oh. That's fine. That's fine. I wasn't expecting to beat both of them right there. Okay. Just wanted to get to the side of grace. Alright, oof, this thing is clammy. Jeez. Just just washed my hands and came back and grabbed the controller, be like, ah uh, yeah, uh, my hands were kinda clammy. Hang on. Alright, cool. Anyway, I'm gonna do that and we'll be back in like five or ten minutes, something like that. Thank you. 
Alright. You guys had a nice little break. No, I did. Do have to get going here pretty soon to actually eat dinner and stuff, so. Uh, like half an hour from a few minutes ago, so let's just say the top of the hour. Which is actually 26 minutes away. That should be just about right. And wow. It's likes and really good metrics for this stream. Thank you guys so much. Okay. And the controller and the adapter has not done the random disconnect thing like once today, so. Gotta love semi random shit. Then again, why bother? <laughs> I mean, I think he also drops a ancient dragon some things down, but so does the one that's already injured, like later. It's like easier to deal with, so what's the point of trying to fight this one? I mean, I guess if you want two of them, sure. I mean, he'll still be there later, so I'm pretty sure I could just come back and fight him later. Pretty sure. Holy crap, they actually came this way. Huh. Oh, now I feel kind of stupid for skipping that side of grace. It's alright. It's 
fine, who cares? It's honestly not even that far. Ah, uh, right. That's not the way I went. Fine. I mean, I could come back here later to grab shit. Oh, it just pushes you off, really? That's rude. I mean, it's just 10,000. I could probably... I mean, I could probably just take these guys, like... Enough stamina to actually
There's burn all the coward. Freaking coward. Actually, wait. I wonder. Would it be that much? Because last time I didn't really know where I was going. Now that I know where I'm going. Well, there's a 12, so that's good. basically run right there, right? I think so? Oh. Mother! Are you kidding me? Seriously? There's barely a gap in between the... whatever. It's so dumb. It's just this way is a lot more direct and, like, Apparently, Bernal's summon sign is also over here, so it's a uh, better way to get his help. Fuck. Out. Jeez, that's so dumb. Uh, without him getting distracted by the enemies at the door. Hey, I got like. 15 minutes, so might be enough time to actually do this. We'll see. Did he get the little one? Oh, he got the skinny guy.
I'm not dying now. Nice, dude. Bernal was like legit helpful right there. Dash wish up. Oh fuck. Kinda forgot about this guy. Oh, you can't come in here, can you? Oh no. was a really unnecessary risk. I don't know why I took it. <laughs> Actually, you know what? It's got that bell bearing and I got like less than 10 minutes. Let me go back here real quick. Which ones do I need? I mean, I assume just seven and eight, but I don't know how many. Four. Okay, so it's a four, so I need ten. Ten sevens and twelve eights. Alright, that's gonna be expensive as fuck, but that's fine. yet. It's alright. Alright. Trying?
Oh. Okay. Right. Need that. actually be very helpful. And downside is I don't really have like a Yeah, I could probably probably take that guy. Don't really want to find out right now though. figured that would go. If I remember right, he drops an ancient dragon smithing stone though.
The fuck, you asshole. Like, ah, oh, nah, I'm out. Never mind. Oh, it's a somber one. Is he gone gone or does he come back? It sounds like he's back. Skill for these guys, unfortunately. Um, yeah. All right. We'll get to this next time. Um, there's probably another easy way to get us ancient dragon smithings down, but this is the one I can think of. So, um, yeah. Thanks for being here, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, of course. We'll get going, we'll end it off with a redirect. Let me see who's on and I can redirect to. I know. Oh, dude, Johnny Boy's on. Fuck yeah. Alright, we'll do that. Um, cool, cool. Alright. Well, thanks again for being here, guys. Till next time, take care, and I hope you all have a beautiful day.